couple years ago, I was giving a class in Bombay in a college. I'm remembering this now because you know, many, many of you are in financial endeavors. Well, I was in a college that was training students to be accountants, certified and chartered accountants. It was in an auditorium with about 350 students and teachers. And I gave a lecture. I don't remember what I said. But one thing I do remember, at the end, I took the risk of asking, is there any questions? <laughs> and you know how students can be. This is also a universal principle. One student raised his hands, and I didn't know who he was, so I called on him. As soon as he stood up, every single person in the room went, ooh. <laughs> and I didn't know what I was about to receive. He started screaming at me, really loud. And the way everybody looked at him, I could see how he was a very powerful, dynamic, charismatic, and popular man on that campus. He screamed, everything you spoke in your lecture is useless. It's all misleading, and you are cheating us. The students were really enjoying his <laughs> challenge. He's, then he told why. He said, what if everybody in the world became a swami like you? Who would grow the food? Who would do the banking? Who would do the medical work? Who would do the trading? And who would run the countries? Therefore, everything you say is useless and misleading. He got a standing ovation. And I had to wait for a couple of minutes till the crowd would calm down. And I tried to answer the question. I said, sir, what if everyone in the world became an accountant like you? Who would grow the food? <laughs> Who would do the banking? Who would do the trading and the business? Who would take care of the medical needs of people? And who would run the countries? In fact, if everyone in the world became an accountant like you, the entire world would have a 100% unemployment. Because no one would need an accountant. <laughs> that we all have our natures, we all have our skills, we're all meant to work together, just like we have this body. The hand could do one thing. The lungs can't do what the hands do. And the hands can't do what the lungs could do. And the feet can't do what the eyes do. And the nose can't do what the heart does. But every part of the body has its unique features, its unique qualities, its unique color <laughs> and shape, and its unique abilities. And when all of them are working together, unity and diversity for the purpose of serving the whole body, the whole body's healthy. So similarly, there is a need for bankers and for business people and for farmers and for doctors and for politicians. And there's a need for accountants like you and there's even a need for swamis like me. According to our propensities, according to our abilities, if we all work together for a unified cause, we can have a very healthy, strong, united social body. That's God's plan. That's the purpose of all religion, to bring us together on a higher principle. I remember Oh, before I could remember it. I said, I said like this, and I'm shy to tell you this, but I will anyway. I got a bigger standing ovation than I did. <laughs> <laughs> and 
even. <laughs> And even he went like this and sat down and smiled. <laughs>